Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I have created a video. Recently we have added the zombie, but we haven't applied damage to our 3D character. If I move towards it, you see that the enemy is attacking, but nothing is happening to the player. But we can kill the zombie. Today we need to apply damage whenever we attack. So to do that, I'm gonna use the animation events, which means we can uh, call a specific function at a specific frame of the attack animation and we're gonna use this function to apply damage to our character we have to open up the animation window by going to window animation then animation select the zombie here we have idle damage and attack for example at this keyframe we are going to apply damage to our character the way we do that in unity by pressing this button that is called add event and here we have this mark from the inspector we have one parameter, which is the name of the function that will be called at this keyframe. For now, we have this method that is called take damage, which is actually for our enemy and not the player. We are going to open up the script that is attached to the zombie under the scripts folder. Enemy. We have zombie. Let's open it up and let's go down and create new one. We need to make it public so that we can access it from the inspector. Void. Then the name, like player damage. If you haven't watched my previous videos, we have created a simple heart system. We are going to use it under the player collision script. We've added this logic to apply damage to our character. We can copy all of these lines of code and put it inside the zombie script. But I will create a separate method for that. Using public void like take damage. Let's copy all of these using control C then control V to paste it. Now let's get back to our zombie script and call the method. First we have to access the player using game object dot find object with tag and the player tag then dot the name of the script or we use get component player collision and we access our method that we have created take damage make sure to save all of the scripts using file save all finally we could select our method from the animation event by selecting the zombie and the attack animation here we have our event and there you go, we have our method player damage. Let's click on it and close this window. Now we can give it a try. By default, the zombie is in an idle state. And whenever we move towards it, he's attacking and we are applying damage to our character. Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to improve the code a bit because we are calling these lines of code two times in the script under the method take damage and under here we can actually call the method take damage I'm gonna delete all of these lines of code and call the method take damage instead recently we have added the invincibility feature to our player health system so he's invincible for 3 seconds using the physics 2 dignore layer collision but here we are not checking for collision which means our player will take damage even if he's blinking or invincible for that 3 seconds to fix this small issue, I'm gonna add another parameter under the player collision script and we will make it public, boolean, and call it is invincible. By default, it is false. And under our i enumerator get hurt, we're going to change this parameter for three seconds and use is invincible equals true. Then we wait for three seconds and give it back to false. Now we can use this parameter or variable whenever we call the method player damage. We are going to check if he's invincible or not. Recently we have added a reference to the player. It is called target. I'm gonna use it. So let's change this to uh, the player object. Because I have removed the transform component, I need to add target.transform. The same thing, I'm gonna change this to target. Dot get component player collision. Before we do that, we are going to check if our character is invincible. So I'm gonna cut it and add an if statement. If the uh, target dot get component player collision dot invincible or it's called is invincible in such case we are going to apply damage to our character sorry it is exactly the opposite if he's not invincible he will take damage now I think our code is much much better let's save all of these scripts and try it again I think we've made a little mistake we can't convert type game object to transform let's double click on it and there you go we have our mistake on top we are declaring the target as a transform but we are assigning a game object which is our player 
let's change the type to game object and save it again I'm gonna maximize the window by default our enemy is idle let's move towards it and yep he's attacking and whenever we are blinking we are not taking damage so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it and I will see you in the next one